Hey everyone, welcome to the Mind Magic's YouTube channel. Here you will find insightful video tutorials to kickstart your tech career. Appraisals and greater career transitions are just around the corner. And if you are the one looking for a brighter career and don't know where to start, then worry not. Mind Magic's is here for the rescue. Having said that, today we bring you the Angular interview questions and answers to help you crack that next interview and land in your dream company. Beyond the basics, we want to set you up for interview success. So. We take our list of questions seriously. We analyze real job descriptions from top sites like Indeed, Nokri, Lingen, and Glassdoor. But that's not all. We went a step further, surveyed and talked directly with the experienced developers, top recruiters, and hiring managers. We categorized freshers, intermediate, and experienced levels. Each level will have theory and scenario-based tricky tech questions. With thorough preparation and these top 30 interview questions and answers backing you up, you're standing well beyond halfway through your quest to ace that interview. So grab your notepad and get ready to transform your career into an Angular developer rockstar. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Now without further delay, let's get started with the top 30 Angular developer interview questions and answers. So the first question from the beginner category is as follows. What is Angular? So this is one of the most basic questions you will be facing in any interview. So the answer should be simplistic and convincing. Angular is a TypeScript based open source front end framework developed by Google for building dynamic website or web applications. Now the second question in the list. What are the key features of Angular? Now mention the important features. So some of the important features of Angular are as follows. Two way data binding, modular architecture, dependency injection, Directives, routing, reactive programming. Feel free to expand each and every feature when you are facing the interviewer to have that edge. Now, the third question in the list. What is the difference between AngularJS and Angular? This might feel a little weird, but yeah, there is a slight difference between AngularJS and Angular. This can also be a tricky question to test your knowledge. So the answer is really simple. AngularJS is based on JavaScript and uses controllers. Whereas Angular 2 Plus is based on TypeScript and follows component based architecture. Also, try to mention that 2 Plus. Now, the fourth question on the list What is the role of TypeScript in Angular? Now, the answer for this question is as follows TypeScript provides static typing, classes, interfaces, and other object oriented programming features that enhance Angular development. Now, the fifth question in the list is as follows. What is an Angular component? So the answer for this question is as follows. An Angular component is a basic building block that controls the section of UI consisting of an HTML template, a CSS file, and a TypeScript class. Now these were the five theory based or frequently asked questions. Now let's dive into the scenario based questions or real time questions. So these questions are for beginners. Now the first one amongst that or the sixth one in the entire list is as follows. How does Angular help in creating a single page application or for short SPA? So the answer is as follows. Angular provides built in routing, lazy loading and state management which can help in efficiently creating the single page applications. Feel free to expand these specifications. Now. The seventh one in the list. If you want to display a list of items dynamically in Angular, how would you do it? So this is again a scenario based question. So the answer is as follows. You can use star ng for directive in the template or loop through an array and render the items dynamically. Now the eighth one in the list is as follows. What could be the possible reasons for not updating the UI after a variable change? Now the answer, possible reasons include missing change detection strategy dot on push, incorrect reference changes or asynchronous updates not triggering change detection. Now the ninth one in the list, how do you handle a scenario where a user enters an invalid input in an angular form? Now this is again a scenario based question. So answer carefully by imagining the situation putting yourself there. Now the answer could be as follows. Use Angular's reactive or template driven form validation to show error messages dynamically. 
Now, the last one in the beginner level scenario based questions is as follows the 10th one. How would you call an API to fetch data when a button is clicked? Now, the answer for this question is as follows Use Angular's HTTP service within a method bound to button click event using event binding. Now, let's move ahead to the next category where we will deal with the intermediate candidates. So, the first one in that is what is directive in Angular? The answer for this question directives are special markers in Angular that modify the behavior of elements such as structural and attribute directives. Some of the examples are star nglf and star ngfor. Now, the 12th one on the list is as follows. What is the life cycle hook in Angular? Now, the answer for this question is as follows. Life cycle hooks like ng on init, ng on destroy, and ng after view init allow developers to run code in different stages of a component's life. Now, proceeding further, we have the 13th question on the list. What is the difference between nglf and ng switch? Now, the answer for this question is nglf conditionally renders elements based on a boolean expression whereas ng switch is used for multiple conditional checks now the 14th question on the list is as follows how does data binding work in angular now the answer for this question angular supports property binding event binding two-way binding and interpolation these are the few ways to help angular work on data binding now the 15th question on the list what is an angular module now the answer for this question is as follows an angular module or ng module is a container for components services directives and pipes defining the structure of an angular application now let's move further and understand a few scenario based questions and answers now the first one amongst that is how would you share data between parent and child components in Angular? Now the answer is as follows. Use at the rate input function for passing data from parent to child and at output function with event emitter for child to parent community. Now the 17th one on the list is as follows. A component's event is not triggering when clicked. What could be wrong? The answer for this question is as follows. Possible issues can include incorrect event binding, event bubbling prevention, or missing function implementation in the component class. Now the 18th question in the list. How to apply a directive to dynamically change the background color of an element? Now the answer for this question is as follows. Create a custom directive using add the rate directive function and manipulate element ref and render to to change styles dynamically. Now the 19th question in the list. How do you detect changes when a user types in an input field? Now the answer, use Angular's two-way binding with ng model or reactive forms with form control to listen to the changes. Now the 20th question on the list. How to prevent unnecessary re-renders in an Angular application? So, the answer for this question implement change detection strategy dot push to minimize change detection cycles and use memorization techniques now let's proceed further now we are on the advanced level interview questions and answers in that the first part general and most frequently asked interview questions and answers so that brings us to the 21st question in the list for today what is dependency injection or for short di in angular the answer DI is a design pattern where dependencies are injected into components instead of being created manually. Now the 22nd question on the list. What are Angular services and why are they used? The answer to this question is services are reusable business logic units that share data and methods across components. Now the 23rd question on the list. What is lazy loading in Angular? The answer. Lazy loading loads modules dynamically when needed, improving performance by reducing the initial load time. Now, the 24th question on the list. How do you optimize an Angular application for better performance? The answer. Strategies include lazy loading, 
ahead of time or AOT for short, AOT compilation, reducing change detection cycles and optimizing bundle sizes. Now the 25th question on the list is, what is an observable in Angular and how does it differ from a promise? The answer, observables are asynchronous data streams that allow multiple values over time, whereas promises resolve a single value. Now we enter the next section of advanced level interview questions and answers, which are the scenario based interview questions. Now the first one in this is, you have an API with large amounts of data. How would you optimize data fetching? So the answer for this question, use pagination, lazy loading, and Rx and JS operations like debounce time and switch map. Now the 27th question on the list. A user reports a memory leak in an Angular application. How would you debug it? The answer, use ng on destroy method to unsubscribe from observables and detach event listeners to prevent memory leaks. Now the 28th question on the list. How would you handle multiple API calls and return the combined result? The answer, use RxJS operators like folk join, combined latest or merge map to combine multiple API responses at a time. Now the 29th question on the list. An app needs to handle offline scenarios where API call fails, what would you do? The answer for this question, implement a caching mechanism with indexed DB, local storage or service worker. And that brings us to the last question in the list for today, the 30th question. What steps would you take to analyze and improve performance of slow rendering? Now the answer for this question is as follows. Profile performance using Chrome Dev Tools, Optimize DOM rendering, use track by in star ng4 and reduce redundant computations. And with that, we have reached to the end of this session on the top 30 Angular developer interview questions and answers. Should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require any of the resources that we have used in this session, like PowerPoint presentation, list of questions, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. The top companies which are hiring Angular developers. So top companies like Tech Mahindra, TCS, Genpack, Infosys, Wipro and other service providing companies are actively hiring Angular developers. And let's also discuss the salary range for Angular developers. If you are in US and if you're a beginner, then you can expect salaries ranging from $50,000 to $70,000 per annum. And if you're an intermediate candidate carrying about one or two years of experience, you can expect seventy dollars to $90,000 per annum. And if you're an experienced candidate, more than three or four years or even more, then you can expect a range of $90,000 to $130,000 or above based on your experience and the company you're working with. And again, if you are in India and if you're a beginner, then you can expect salaries ranging from 4 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum. And if you're a guy with an experience of two to three years, then you can expect salaries ranging from eight lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. And if you have more than two years of experience, then you can expect salaries ranging from 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs or even more based on your experience and the company you're working with. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from MindMagics.